You see, the, the Pharisees were passive and silent, but Jesus took the initiative and he engaged this human need. And this word translated took here in Luke 14, it's translated a couple of different things elsewhere in the Bible, but it all has the same uh, essence. This word took is what Jesus does when the faith of an individual believer is failing. Do you remember one night Jesus is walking along across the water, which is one heck of a trick. But the Son of God made the water. Of course, he can walk on it. So he's walking across the water, and, and, and Peter, his aggressive disciple, looks at that and says, if, if Jesus can do it, and he says, follow me, I bet I can walk on water too. Do you remember this story? And out of the boat he goes, and onto the waves he walks for a little while. And then, instead of looking straight at Jesus and making it to Jesus, all you parents remember the first steps your kid made. And you know, as soon as they took their eyes off you, they plopped down on their diaper, right? And Peter, still wearing faith diapers, and he takes his eyes off of Jesus. He's like, what have I done? This is a raging sea. This is stupid with a capital S. And he begins to sink and drown, right? And what does Christ do? This is Matthew 14, 30, and 31. But when he saw that the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched out his hand, and, and New King James says, caught him. So it's, it's took him. Jesus reached out his hand, and he took him back from the ocean. And he said, oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? That, that comforts me in about a million ways because my faith fails like Peter's all the time. And boy, does it, is it reassuring to know that when I'm drowning, Jesus is taking me back. Peter cried out, Lord, save me. In our text today, the dropsy man says nothing, but his body cried out to the Lord, do something about this. So God took him, Jesus took him, 